so folks this is the speed twin then so the speed twin dates back to 1939 when um, Edward Turner first first designed um, well first came to work at Triumph and uh, I think I'm not sure whether this was the first bike that he designed obviously not this iteration of it but uh, the speed twin was the first bike that he designed for the mass market same again clutch in oh, another great sounding bike this one does sound immediately it's got a bit of a sportier note to it whether you're picking that up on the camera i hope you are so your feet are a little bit higher up on the pegs on this one. They're, they feel a little bit further back as well, so it's proper sort of sporty position. So there's no cruise control on this bike. Um, also, neither bike has heated grips, but I believe, I'm pretty certain in saying, that uh, on both bikes the loom is in place so the Triumph heated grips can be fitted and straight away you notice that the gearing is much shorter on this bike it's not as much of a lazy ride yeah this stand on this bike as well is even more difficult to find than the other one again ergonomically this bike is really comfortable your feet are a little bit further back and higher up I love these end bar end mirrors as well just love them so much nicer than those big stalky affairs on the T120 clocks more or less the same on this bike uh, I think the inserts are different but I think the the basic clock itself is identical got to get past these I'd say the, the acceleration on this is far more brutal than on the T120. Now the T120 is no slouch, but this would leave it standing, definitely. Also acceleration when you're already up there as well, you know, we're doing 60 miles an hour now in fifth gear, 60 miles an hour in fifth, three and a half thousand revs. just flies. Now the alterations to this engine were to make the crankshaft lighter and to get the engine spinning that bit faster, that bit quicker. So the acceleration is, is better uh, and I, I, some of the research I did into this bike, I did watch one or two other people riding the previous edition of this bike, one of them being TMF who also agreed that this bike, the 2021 version, is a faster iteration of this, T, uh, of this um, Speed Twin than the previous version. Ergonomically, this one, I am in a slightly more uh, sporty position, like I say. I do feel like I'm leaning forward a little bit more, but it's only a fraction, it's marginal. So, um, yeah, I'm leaning forward just slightly on this simply because these bars are flatter they're on the Bonneville the, the risers are higher but then we're, we're now chugging along at what just under 60 miles an hour just over 3,000 revs what's not to like smooth as silk as well and, and the, the T120 Bonneville was as smooth as silk I didn't mention that I mean they are they are twin engines and you do get a little bit of vibration from time to time. You, you're going to get that, you know, 600 uh, cc pots either side. You are going to get that, but it's very marginal. The amount of vibration that comes through it is very marginal. 
it just reminds you really that you're riding a motorbike why do you want things to be you know really super smooth so you can you know it, it dulls that sensation of riding a motorcycle I love riding motorcycles I don't I don't care if they vibrate a bit there's just a bit of a tingle coming through there now just in these lower gears but really it's nothing it really is nothing that side stand is a little bit tricksy to find as I've said but you can still find it so there she is the speed twin triumph 2021 speed twin again another superb looking bike well done triumph banging that ball out of that park consistently super duper well done you see this is so much tidier this tail end here would look so much better on the bonneville on the t120 i think i just prefer it to that drop down mud guard that the bonneville has on it look at it every angle it, it hasn't got a bad side has it beautiful bike right let's do a walk around while i'm gushing away like a big girl So there it is, what a cracking bike. The Triumph Speed Twin 2021 edition. Cracking bike. So let's get into the numbers then. So £11,000 on the road again in the jet black colour, which I have to say I prefer to this grey. I'm not mad keen on this grey because I don't like matte paint. Having said that, they do do a red hopper as well so the this color the uh, storm gray matte storm gray is 200 pounds extra on top of that eleven thousand pounds and also so is the red hopper as well so again we've got this liquid cooled 1200 cc parallel twin engine and this one hp there look high power engine so same engine just a different remap so 98.6 bhp at 7250 rpm uh, and as we discussed earlier compared to the t120 78.9 bhp at 6500 rpm 82.7 foot pounds of torque uh, 112 newton meters um, at 4250 rpm compared to the t120 75.2 foot pounds or pounds foot 102 newton meters at 3500 rpm gearbox is six speed again much shorter gearing sportier more aggressive ride you need to change gears more often service intervals the same t120 same as the t120 sorry at 10,000 mile intervals which is really good 10,000 miles weight 216 kilos which is 20 kilos less than the t120 um but really have i noticed no i haven't 20 kilos difference you'd think you would but no i haven't noticed uh, i think that's probably because this is slightly higher um seat height on this is seven um sorry 809 millimeters so nearly 81 centimeters um so it's slightly taller um and maybe that is that's what's making me think it weighs about the same maybe i don't know um tank 14 and a half liters same again uh, as the uh, bonneville um 50 mile per gallon claimed um 120 to 130 miles to empty um on the front we've got brembo m50 four pot calipers twin discs uh, and on the rear we've got nissin two pot single disc on the rear uh, switch gear again basic but functional and easy to operate um, with my winter gloves on and I, I think this looks a little bit more basic than what's on the Bonneville clocks I think the clocks are identical clocks they're just these inserts that have been put in are different and the reason I say that is because the LCD uh, displays are in exactly the same place and look at exactly the same size this is all the same as well they, they do look really good though don't they And exactly the same information comes up on these as well as on the bonnet. 
I keep saying the Bonnie, they're both part of the Bonneville range. Um, so I shouldn't shouldn't be determining determining them by that at all. Um, I love these bar end mirrors as well. They're really good. Solid as a rock as well. There's no vibration coming through them as I'm riding along. Work a treat. One thing I really don't like, and I'd have to change, is these master cylinders. I just think they look cheap and plastic and a bit rubbish. Ride by wire throttle. Uh, rain road and sport mode traction control abs again no six axis imu on this but phew, do you really need it uh, usb socket under the seat seat high 809 millimeters as discussed front forks um, 43 millimeter marzocchi upside down forks again no adjustment on these front forks but it feels fine to me, feels really good. Real ones, exactly the same. Twin shocks with preload adjustment if you're going to take passengers or if you're going to try and overload it with luggage. I would change the exhausts. I don't think the... I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just don't think the exhaust note actually suits the bike that well for me. Again, it's all personal, isn't it? Uh, and they've also gone for the matte appearance with the engine as well. But also they've gone for that sort of uh, air-cooled look about it when it is actually a liquid-cooled engine. But it looks apart, doesn't it? It really looks apart. Right, let's get back, back on it and we'll ride it some more. So, negatives then. It's, it's just so difficult to be negative about either of these two bikes. I mean, the things that I don't like are purely subjective things. They're, they're ridiculous things. I'd, I'd change the exhaust because I just, I don't think the exhaust note is, for me, is not quite right. Doesn't mean to say it's wrong. Sounds better off the bike than it does when you're actually on it. Probably the main thing. These clocks, the clocks look all right there when you're looking down on them. I just don't like them from this angle. Uh, I, I just think the, you know, like the artillery shell thing going on, I think it looked better with those. You know, like the Kawasaki's do. Uh, it looked better with those. Um, and I'm not mad keen on that indicator design, but you know, <coughs> what am I talking about here? The minor things, that thing as well. But then a lot of Triumphs have those plastic pots, don't they? Master cylinder pot. <sighs> it's just so minor. It's not even worth talking about. And they're all things as well that you can change. You know, if you owned one of these bikes, you could just change it. And in a way as well, I'm glad I came out... Uh, and had to do this ride again because it's forced me and, it, and this is what a, a longer ride on both of these bikes would do you know if I was to have one or both of them for a period of time so I could do a longer in-depth study of both of these bikes I could then sort of you know be more make more judgments on them and be more accurate in my critique of the bikes basically both bikes are superb and now, the reason I say I wish I'd, uh, I, I'm glad that I uh, could come out again and do this. One of the reasons I say that is because when I finished my last ride, that Triumph Bonneville for me was uh, a 10 out of 10. And this was hitting nine out of 10. Um, I'm gonna slightly amend that simply because I can't put a fag paper between the two of them. I think out of the two, and this is purely again a subjective thing, it's simply because I want one in my garage because I love the look of the thing. Uh, and that's the T120. Now that's winning out just on purely cosmetic, uh, purely just for cosmetic reasons, which is wrong. You know, I, I can't I can't like one bike over the other simply because I I like the look of it more um, and that nostalgic older you know older look to it 
is is what I love is what I love about it I, I can't really say that because that's my personal preference my brain getting in the way of making a decision over two bikes that are totally superb and I would be happy to own either one of them I know that uh, they say that this this one sort of tips into the corners better but I really can't tell that much difference between this one and the Bonneville not just on this short ride I mean they both feel very similar I think that it's been designed you know more sporty bringing that rake back a bit so it turns in a little bit quicker but um no I'm, I'm gonna give them both nine nine and a half out of ten and the only reason I'm knocking half a point off really is simply because they didn't consult me when they were putting these bikes together <laughs> sorry triumph that's yeah I know it's completely ridiculous but you know it's supposed to be a review it's supposed to be a bit of a critique if you know I'm not finding any any negatives here <laughs> throw me a bone you know the reasons why I, I preferred the Bonnie last time the T120 the reasons I, I preferred that is simply because of the the chrome on it and you know the glossy paintwork those are the sort of reasons that uh, that won out over this speed twin last time but pointless reasons and this is why I'm glad that I've been able to come back and ride them again simply so I could amend that uh, decision right up until coming out this morning you know and getting on the Bonneville and then getting on the, the Speed Twin I was still convinced that the Bonneville the T120 was going to be hands down my favourite bike out of the two but having ridden them both again I, th I think the Bonneville would be more comfortable on a long ride uh, and I'm basing that on the fact that my legs are a little bit more tucked up on this yes the ride on the Bonneville T120 is a more relaxed ride but oh well these gears are shorter so it urges you to change gear faster urges you on to ride faster it's amazing what you know a, a little change in the gearbox or well say a little change a big change in the gearbox like that can do to the whole feel of a motorcycle I'm still in road mode let's uh, flip her over into sport mode clutch in yeah there we go and instantly the pickup is faster yeah it, it, it does feel like a different bike actually in sport mode you would have more fun on this without a doubt you know going through the twisties it, it is that sort of bike it's designed for that sort of riding still on the back lanes you know this is not a track day bike I don't think I don't think you'd be keeping up with that much on a track day I don't see why you couldn't take it on a track day but uh, it's it's really not ideally suited for that third we're still in third just shows I'd crept up to sixth on this whereas on the Bonneville I was still in fourth coming along that lane so like I said before if, it, if uh, anybody's watching this on your TV please do me a favor just pick your phone up now and just do me a favor go along to the um, YouTube app and go along to Motor Mogul and just click on subscribe if you're already subscribed please click on the like because it just helps the YouTube gods and the algorithm it just helps the channel please do that for me guys and please do it for any YouTube videos that you're watching that you actually like please just do that if you're watching on your TV because you don't get the option to do it and this is what drives the YouTube algorithm also for anybody who's interested like I said earlier again I am now on patreon if you would like to support the channel financially and while I'm doing shout outs this is to David sorry mate I can't put a fag paper between the t120 and the speed twin so um, 
I know that you are a Speed Twin owner and that you were hoping that I was going to say that the Speed Twin is the winner. Um, it's brilliant. Don't get me wrong, it's brilliant. Right, quick brake test coming up. Nothing behind me at the moment. 40 miles an hour, front brake. Yep, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that Brembo front brake is awesome. And then the rear brake, yeah, that's also totally adequate. Feels very much like the Bonneville front brake. Just as good, uh, back brake I mean. Feels just as good as the T120 back brake. So around town then, this is, uh, this is another bike that's just absolutely fine. So I don't know what else to tell you about this bike other than it's lovely and I've given you some you know some pros for the bike and some cons for the bike admittedly the cons for the bike are all sort of cosmetic ones the, the front forks actually the front wheel does feel a lot more under the front end of the bike than on the Bonneville I think that's possibly because of the way I'm seat seated on it I am sort of leaning slightly forward, it's not, not on the wrists or anything but uh, I think it's just in the ergonomics, the general ergonomics of the bike I am a little bit more leant forward it's not uncomfortable and like I say I am not leaning on the bars I'm still sat on my bum pegs are a little bit higher um, which all serves to sort of I don't know, make you sit forward a little bit more. I know the rake's been brought back a bit on the front end, just to help with sharper turning. Yeah, I love it. I love this bike. I love the T120 and I love this one. And, and really, I cannot put a fag paper between them. Don't know what to say. Don't like this paint. Don't like this paint. Just don't like it. I think the battery's gonna go on this front one, so if it does, see ya. Um, so I'll do a I'll do a sign off now. Thanks for coming along with me today, guys, on these two superb examples of uh, retro bikes, modern retro bikes. Because, like I say, I can't put a fag paper between the two of them as to which one I prefer. Now I'm so glad that I had to come back and do another ride on them because I had uh, the sound problems on the uh, the last time I took them out. It, it's changed my opinion of the bikes whereas before the t120 was a, a clear 10 and, and this bike was a 9.5 I'm now putting them both back at 9.5 simply because there are things that could be different about the bikes um, but really uh, they're so minor they're just cosmetic and most of it's down to just my prejudice um, but there you go you know got to have something to complain about nobody likes a whinger though so anyway thanks for coming along with me today guys if you've enjoyed this video like I say if you're watching me on the telly please go to your phone just hit the like and subscribe and ting that bell I'll see you on the next video uh, I don't think that's going to be a Harley Davidson one yet I'm probably going to do something around about Christmas time we're not that far off it's the 13th of December today so winter solstice is coming up on the 21st I believe so the nights will start drawing out from there and we can look forward at least we've got something a little bit to look forward to next summer well spring first obviously but obviously lighter nights and well it's going to be miserable isn't it January February March the worst three months of the year Sorry if you've got a birthday in any of those months. But they are, aren't they? They're miserable. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. See you again, guys. I've been Jack Porter. This has been Motor Mogul. There's diesel all over that corner. Oh, and that's a speed hump. See you again, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.